Legends, it's me Nazi, and today I'm going to be teaching you to crochet. So I'm going to try not to sound like a know-it-all. Or a teacher. But I will be teaching you how to crochet. I'm so excited because I've asked all the nice nuts to let me teach them how to crochet, but they all like, no, no, I'm busy with my edits. But since you're such a kind person, you're letting me teach you. You need to decide to do your crochet in your favorite spot of the house, and I recommend you wear your nice nuts hoodie goodie. Let me get mine. Comfy. Check. And the supplies you need are wool, a crochet hook, scissors. And just like that, you and me are ready to crochet. The first thing you want to do is grab your yarn and make a slip knot. You're about to see me slowly get more and more angry. So first of all, wrap... Shush, Bergo! Pull, Biggie, shush. So, uh, Biggie, shush. So this will be your working wool and this will be the tail of your wool. Pull the tail of your wool over the working wool and then just... Pull it through, if that makes sense. And slide your crochet hook on. I need you such a nice legend to click on this video and crochet with me. Oh my god, I'm so honored I get to be your bestie. So holding the wall is something that people find very important, but I don't think it's really important. But I will teach you a couple ways to hold it. The easiest way is just wrapping it around your finger. And that's it. So I will be just wrapping it around my finger, but heh. <laughs> Do what you want, like it's up to you. Actually, I'm feeling a little bit sick at the moment, Legend, so I'm glad you could cheer me up. Time to start chaining. So the chaining is basically just when you get a layout going, in a way, and you just make an amount of stitches and whatever. You know. And warning, if you're a professional crocheter and you get triggered by people not being good at crochet, don't watch this video. I'm gonna grab the wool and pull it through the hoop. Grab your wool and pull it through your hoop. It's gonna chain like 10. So you just have to pull it through your hoop 10 times. Pull your wool over and then you should have two hoops and then pull your wool through your hoop. And while we do that, we're obviously gonna talk. Oh, I had a question. I feel like I ask this in every single video, but what Norisense Clips ideas should I do? Like, should I do like a wardrobe tour? Should I do a day in the life of me? What day in the life of me should I do though? Like, I don't know. <laughs> So I think I'm going to teach you what a stitch is because I got really confused with like stitches, double crochet and all these confusing words that they use in the crochet world. So I'm going to teach you a couple of them, even though I'm not completely educated on them. So I guess we'll both be just as dumb as me. Like I'm teaching you to be me. <laughs> so each one of these is just like a loop. I call them loops. I think people call them chains. So that right there is a loop and then that one's a loop. And that's a loop. I know this is the most cringiest saying ever, but if you don't fit in at school, then you 100% fit in my heart. And I'm not trying to be cringy, I'm just naturally cringe. And I raged a lot when I was trying to learn to crochet. So if you get really stressed and you just freak out because you don't think you're very good at it, it's okay, because I did it too. And I mean, your teacher is probably teaching you how to do it wrong, but I'm a great teacher. So my favorite size hook is a three millimeter one. So these are the supplies I bought to start crocheting. Go through your first stitch. You should have two stitches on your crochet hook, then wool over and pull through those two stitches. And repeat that until you've crocheted all the way along. Go into your first loop, put your wool over, and then pull through two loops, and repeat this step until you've crocheted it all the way along. So the reason I did this was because this video is meant to be a crochet with me. But I wasn't sure if you all knew how to crochet, so I wanted to teach you to crochet. But now, since you know how to crochet, you can finish off your project, and I will finish off my project. If you have your wool and your crochet hook, let's start to crochet. So I'm trying to make this really, really nice checkered pattern at the moment. See, when I crochet, I feel like I always have to look at the project, while some very talented people, like one person I know is Tsunami, and she can just like look like this and crochet. Like, I'm too scared to do that. I can never. Could never. Could never. Do that. I just want to say I'm so thankful to have you with me. Like, I don't know. I'm the most cheesiest YouTuber in the entire world, but the fact that you just don't judge or you think I'm you don't think I'm weird or anything, it's just so nice. So this is all I did of my little crochet checkered top. I just want to say thanks for watching this video and letting me teach you to crochet. Catch me knuckles.